We're in the heart of the history, guys. Yeah. What, what is this? What is this? A bit creepy, honestly. <laughs> Hey guys, we are in Kenya, in southern Egypt. We're about one hour away to Luxor and the Valley of the Kings, and two hours away from Hurghada. Not far, there is the Dendera Temple. Let's stop in Kenya and see how's the life there. It's a really, really hot day. And now we're close to an area where I've seen a beautiful image, a mosque and a church right in front of it. I'd like to have some food as well. I didn't have lunch, I woke up early morning just to go there before Luxor, so I didn't have breakfast yet. Let's try to walk around, have lunch, and not get arrested. Here, they can tell right away I'm a foreigner because I'm the only one wearing shorts. I actually forgot that because I wanted to blend in a bit better, but it is what it is. So it's Friday, it's springtime, it's like Sunday in Europe. The world is just waking up right now. Before the prayer, everyone sleeps. After the prayer, people start to work. And basically, <laughs> try to go left, left and right, just to see around. I've never been there before, so I'm kind of, kind of lost. We ended up in a market. Figs, bananas, eggplants. Birds, pigeons. Here they love to eat pigeons and chickens. Now, by the way, the vendors are screaming the prices of their goods, and they're much cheaper <laughs> than in Cairo or in other cities. Of course, here now you can see, but all around there are farms, and yeah, farms. The guy selling some uh, typical drink like Sobia and there were huge chunks of ice in it because today the temperature is so high, it's really, really, really hot. It's getting crazy. Here, we're not so far to the Sudan uh, border. It's really hot. I was listening to these uh, crazy sounds. I was like, what's that? That's chickens. Here, basically, the butcher, the chicken right in front of you. I already apologize if today I can't find too many words. I'm pretty tired. I've been traveling a lot the last few days to show you guys Egypt. And again, in, in these kind of towns, sometimes they're not so happy when you're filming. So I try to keep it cool. To zigzag but you know the, the funny thing I, I love these cities I love this where you can experience the real Egypt and that's why I want to show you guys do you guys see these wood balconies right there you will find a lot of them in Cairo as well in Khani Khalidi they were done for women it wasn't allowed for women to get to the window and look around because maybe somebody from the street could see them Well, we find an aisle, it's at the end of the road, we will go there later on. But I've seen this place here, Rezo, and it looks decent. I think they do meat, tamaya, whatever. So let's try to eat something. Hello. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, it looks okay. It's got a big glass window overlooking Canada. Uh, hello, mate. And generally, I will be up for some street food, but today I'm too knackered. I'm really, really knackered today. So let's go here and see what they have. Koshiri, falafel. Nice view, by the way. Well, guys, basically, they don't have uh, tamaya, they don't have falafel yet. I, uh, so we had some kosher. Thank you. Oh, I hope I'm gonna feel better after this. 
For the koshiri and the coke, the Pepsi, we paid the 20 Egyptian pounds, one euro. So let's pay and get to the Nile. That's a beauty. Look at the Nile, the mountain and the desert right there. These are boats probably for local who want to go on the river for a while. And I don't know if it's because I just had lunch. Hello. Or if it's because, or it's the water. I finally feel better. And I think we're ready to go to the Dendera temple. What you guys think? I think we should go. I'd like to swim actually, but we should go. The Dendera temple should be at the end of this road. But here suddenly we're closer to the Nile and as usual, we're closer to crops, to nature. Lovely area, some shades, birds chirping. You can feel the pump of a motor, probably pumping water. But yeah. Nice, isn't it? To access the Dendera complex, I paid uh, 150 Egyptian pounds. It's weird because it's so quiet. I'm literally the only one here. Greetings from the Dandara complex. The Temple of Hathor is one of the most well-preserved temples in all of Egypt. The conditions of the carvings and the bas-reliefs here is unparalleled. These are probably the best carvings I've ever seen in any Egyptian temple. The temple complex displays influences from Egyptian, Greek and Roman rulers. The main temple was built by Ptolemy XII and nearly completed by Cleopatra. Yes, the Cleopatra. The beautiful, intricate, 2,000-year-old temple is not to be missed. Columns are huge, are massive the condition of all the hieroglyphics and the inscriptions, oh, the colors on top. It beats me how this place is not packed with people. If you're claustrophobic, don't do this. Okay, I gotta leave my bag here. This is really, really narrow. This is the infamous Dandera light bulb. Many believe that this was depicting a light bulb and that ancient Egyptians already had electricity. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. That's a puppy, guys. That's a puppy. I got out of the crypt and it seems that here, there's another one. Kida? Ooh. That was tricky. All right, but we did it. Okay. A bit creepy, honestly. <laughs> there is a really strange, strong smell. I can't define it. It's bad. It's bad. All right. Bad shit. <laughs> okay. That's bad shit. I didn't step on any bad shit, so that's uh, that's the good news of the day. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can do it again. Is there a rabbit? I don't know. So much to see here. From the outside, you just think, okay, that's a rectangular building. But then when you get here, it's a city. 
At the top of the structure there is a small temple that was used for rituals to greet the rising sun, as well as another antechamber called the Chapel of Osiris. Inside this chapel, one of the room holds a unique ceiling relief, called the Dandara Zodiac. It is considered the only complete map of the ancient Egyptian sky. Don't forget to look up when you come in here. <laughs> he used to love life, this guy. This is weird, man. <laughs> Some of the most impressive bas reliefs were actually on the outer walls. Look at the pharaoh's heads. I don't want to bore you with the details, but you can really stay here hours and be mesmerized by each one of these hieroglyphics. Of course, uh, the big depictions are cool and massive, but these ones are those who strike me the most. Oh, this used to be, this is a parfum. Really, the conditions is incredible. I mean, you can see this guy's belly here. We've got... And yes, there is the water. Wow. Oh, so fresh. You see, it's coming from there. They dug this to get the water from the Nile. We're in the heart of the history, guys. This is the sacred lake, also known as Cleopatra's Pool. Not bad, eh? I mean, this is not a pool. This is a, this is a personal ocean. You've got four sets of stairs to get in. <laughs> wow. This temple is so big, it's unbelievable. I was trying to take a picture of it, even with a wide angle. And I couldn't succeed. The temple of Isis is generally closed, but we have a special permission to shoot inside. Wow, there's, there's a bat. That's a bat. And that's on top. The face. And again, look at the condition. It really looks like it's been done yesterday. Small door right here. Wow. 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 Guys gotta come here. I got shivers. Incredible. And you can see somebody tried to scratch this. And it fidges away. I love the Dendera temple. And if you're in Egypt, you gotta visit the Philae temple. To find out more, watch this video.